Drones have changed a lot since they were released, and I think it's about time I updated my severely outdated drone tier list video, so let's get right into it. The title of this section is not an exaggeration. These drones are basically cosmetic items. They look snazzy next to your robot, but they aren't worth your microchips because their buffs are so hilariously insignificant, it's kinda sad. To save time, I'm not gonna go over them individually, with one exception, Wasp. Wasp is not a cosmetic item. Wasp is a challenge item. Wasp not only deprives you of a useful drone, but it actually puts you at a disadvantage. You might not understand why exactly Wasp is worse than no drone, so I'll explain it simply. The new robot, Ochokochi, paired with its new drone and pilot, gains defense points and a damage boost for every instance of DOT applied to it. Wasp does virtually no significant damage, but every shot from Wasp will give Ochokochi a 1% damage boost and a 1% damage resistance. So having a Wasp by your side will be buffing your enemy while providing virtually no benefit to you. Anyway. Here's the rest of the trash tier drones in order from most trash to least trash. Fly, Sidekick, Defender, Starter, Sharpshooter, Octanian, Good Guy, Discus. This tier has two drones in it, and they're hardly a step up from the cosmetic items. Persephone is the better of the two, and will give you and your nearest teammate a weaker version of the mechanic skill. The eye will give you 10% damage boost for 5 seconds to whatever enemy you happen to be looking at once every 20 to 40 seconds. Still not worth your microchips to invest in these things, but at least they do something. This tier also consists of two drones, Nebula and Reviver. Between the two, Nebula is the slightly worse one. It gives a strong heal and a short shield, but the cooldown is so long and the damage requirement is steep, most bots would be lucky to activate it twice in a life. Reviver is slightly better than Nebula. It's not really worth investing in but it's okay with certain builds. You'll primarily want to consider this drone for low HP robots that can get bursted down extremely quickly. Tanks can get some use out of it, but it doesn't heal gray damage, so if you're doing a lot of healing, then you won't get the full extent of the repair. Barrel, Iron Hearth, and Patron are the C tier drones. Barrel is actually a bit of a better drone than you might think. The abilities it has to boost your speed and damage when you're at low health will persist if you heal back up, and they can even be activated several times and stacked. Additionally, it recently had its explosion damage massively buffed, so it actually kinda hurts now. Regarding Patron and Iron Hearth, these drones are really tough to rank. Their abilities will only activate to defend you from particular effects, and while the protection is strong, if you never encounter that effect, then you'll never get the protection. At the moment, both of these drones are deserving of cosmetic item tier. Why then are these drones up here in C tier? Well, there is some hope for these drones coming in the next update. You see, the new Seeker Drone and Mute Mothership are probably going to be instant meta blinding devices, which Patron will be able to protect you from. As for Ironhearth, it's always had the niche of being able to give you defense points just by getting the Blast and Freeze immunity from the Revenant ability. And with the change to Unstable Conduit making it so it gives you Blast immunity, you'll be able to give yourself some defense points through Ironhearth's interaction with it. While these changes will give these drones some use, they will still be hard to justify in comparison to newer drones, which typically have distinct general abilities that are always very useful regardless of the meta. This is where we start seeing drones that are really viable, even in higher leagues. Surprisingly, the first drone in B tier is Whiteout, a tier 3 drone that's nearly worthy of tier 4. This drone not only gives the best stat boost, that being speed, but also has a really nice heal when taking a lot of damage, and does something that no other drone can. It applies EMP. Even at level 1, this drone is still extremely solid. Any close range bot, notably Skyros and Scorpion, can seriously mess up enemies who aren't running an anti-control at close range. I easily recommend this drone to anyone with 100 chips to spare. The next drone in this tier is Beak. You might have expected this drone to be a little higher, but keep in mind that this tier list is taking into consideration the 9.4 nerfs, which have nerfed Beak's stealth into the ground. Beak had its total stealth duration reduced from 12 seconds to 6 seconds, cutting it right in half. With this change, it's hard to put Beak any higher than this, as a lot of newer drones offer so much more than a 6 second stealth on your first engagement, and then 3 seconds for every following engagement. The drones in A tier are all great. They're all worth investing in for sure, and their abilities are quite significant, especially when paired with the right robot. The first drone in A tier is Daltoki. This thing is a real nice all-rounder. It has some real solid damage and speed boosts when using the modules, and a built-in light weapon to boot. It works well with a plethora of bots, it's not bad at all. Glider is up next, with its heal after phase shift and a built-in stubborn warrior skill. This thing's a great drone that increases any robot's survivability. The speed boost after phasing is barely noticeable, but the other abilities make up for it. Paralysis is a drone that does one thing, it paralyzes. Not much to say here other than to make sure that you pair it with high effect accumulation weapons. With the nerfs that have came out, the repair unit skills are going to be basically unnoticeable. 
but that just means that you can use it at level 4 and it will still be as good as if it were maxed. The lockdown skill is just extremely valuable, which is why this drone still enjoys a spot in A tier. And here we are at Armadillo, a beacon capper's best friend. It's got a nerf to the defense points that it gets from killing enemies, but I doubt Armadillo fans will really notice because they always just used it to capture beacons to get their defense. This drone is the epitome of snowballing potential. Every time I'm shooting at a robot and they just won't die, I glance at their left side and immediately know why. Though, that's not always the case, Ochokochi's a thing. Simply put, the drones in this tier are the best of the best. Their buffs are extremely significant and noticeable, and they work well with a wide variety of robots. They typically require a lot of upgrading to get full value though, but people with the ability to acquire these drones probably aren't all too worried about that. Showdown is the first in this tier. While the fact that two of its abilities require you to use a stealth robot holds it back from being as universal as the others, the mild damage repair and the critical hit protection alone are insanely good abilities. This drone is good, but it's at the bottom of S tier for a reason. Hiroko is the newest drone release, and it's the next up in S tier. Typically a new drone wouldn't be this low, but it's not necessarily because Hiroko is bad, but more so just because it's really specific. Hiroko is mainly made to pair with Ochokochi, and used in that context it's near the top of S tier. But in general, Hiroko's buffs don't apply as well to other robots. Sure, you can give yourself a free durability extender by munching through all your power cells, but it stings for bots without that DOT resistance passive, and you also don't get full value of the ability that gives damage boosts for every stack of DOT, since DOT weapons aren't that common and you're most likely just going to be treating the drone ability like an on-module damage boost and on-module durability extension. Also, the drone has a built-in gun. It's pretty strong for a drone gun, but it's nothing to write home about. Shy is a lot more universal, not requiring anything in particular in order to do its job. It's something like a side-graded armadillo, trading off the snowballing potential for much greater ease of stacking defense points, just requiring you to shoot people. Add to that a built-in last stand and a speed boost when you're, on, when you're low on health, and you have an S-tier defensive drone. Kestrel is easily the best drone in the game right now. Even with the nerfs it's gotten, it's just so far past the competition. This absurd drone manages to shove a huge damage boost to nearby enemies, ridiculously high maximum speed when getting kills, and freaking gray damage repair into one badass looking package. If you want to know what the best drone for any given build is, there's not that many circumstances where the answer isn't Kestrel. Well that was it, my 100% infallible, incontestable, correct opinion on the current standings of all drones in the game. I hope you enjoyed and I'd be happy to discuss with anyone in the comments.